everyone, my name is Susie. Welcome to my channel. Today is my first YouTube video ever. I created this golden, glittery, bronzy, glowy look for you guys. I think it's beautiful. If you guys want to see how I created this look, then just please keep on watching. Okay everyone, so today I'm going to go in with my MAC concealer as an eyeshadow base today. I prefer a concealer over a regular eyeshadow base just because I feel like it really covers all the imperfections that I have on my eyes. Then I go in with my beauty blender and just blend out the concealer making sure everything is smooth. After I'm done smoothing out the concealer, I'll go in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. I just do this to set the eyes so that way when I apply the shadow everything goes on very smooth and seamlessly. Next, I'm going to go into my Sweet Peach palette and dip into the color Puree and apply that all over my crease using a blending brush. When blending your eyeshadow, you want to take your time in order to get that blown out smoked effect. Next, I'm taking my Stila Liquid Shadow in Kit and Karma and I'm going to apply that all over the lid being very careful not to go above the crease. Next, I'm going back into the Sweet Peach palette and I'm taking Candied Peach and Summer Yum and I'm going to apply that back into my crease. Next, I'm dipping into the Tarte Amazonian Clay Palette and taking the color Natural Beauty and layering that over the other two shades to blend out the crease more seamlessly. Now, dipping back into the Sweet Peach Palette, I'm going to grab Nectar and White Peach and apply that underneath my brow bone. Now we're going to start with the face. I'm just going to prime my face with the Makeup Forever Step 1 Hydrating Primer. I also went ahead and did my brows off camera, so if you guys want to see a video on that, just let me know. Next, I'm going to go in with the Becca Backlight Primer right over the Makeup Forever Primer, just because I find this combination really helps keep my skin hydrated during the winter. Also, I wanted my skin to be very luminous and dewy for this look. Next, I'm going to take my Luminous Silk Foundation from Giorgio Armani and apply two pumps to the back of my hand. Then, I'm going to grab a flat brush and apply that all over my face. Next, I'm going to take my Beauty Blender and just blend everything out. Next, I'm going to grab my Urban Decay Weightless Concealer and apply a generous amount underneath my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, my chin, and forehead. Now, going back in with the Beauty Blender, I'm just going to blend everything out. After I'm done blending out the concealer, I'll take my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and bake wherever I applied concealer just to set it. Now it's time for contour. I'm going to take my Shade and Light Palette from Kat Von D and take the middle shade and just contour my face.
When contouring my face, I always take it down my neck so that way it doesn't look like I'm wearing a mask. Now grabbing my Beauty Blender again, I'm going to take the translucent powder and just carve out my contour just to make sure that everything is nice and sharp. Now taking Too Faced Sun Bunny, I'm going to bronze up my face. For blush, I'm just taking Rosy Outlook from MAC and applying it to the apples of my cheeks. Now going in with my favorite part, false lashes. I just took the style Sasha from Huda Beauty and applied that off camera. Usually when I'm done applying lashes, I'll take a tapered brush and wipe off all the bakage. Grabbing my pencil brush, I'm going to take puree and summer yum and smoke that onto my lower lash line. Now grabbing my Better Than Sex Mascara, I'm going to apply that to my lower lashes. After I'm done applying mascara, I'm going to go back in with Nectar and White Peach and apply that into my inner corners. Now moving on to highlight, I'm going to take my Becca Champagne Pop by Jaclyn Hill and apply that to all the high points of my face. Also, since I'm wearing an off-the-shoulder top, I'll take it down to my shoulders and my décolleté area. Moving on to the lips, I'm just going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Pure Hollywood Liquid Lipstick and apply that all over my lips. Also, I'll overline my lips just a little bit to make them appear more full. Next, I'm going to grab the gloss literally from the Kylie Cosmetics line and apply that to the center of my lips. Then I'll just take my finger and blend it all in together. Now that the look is complete, I'm just going to take my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray to set my face. Okay everyone, this is the final look. I hope you guys love it as much as I do. If you guys like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.